So I don't know why I really, I wanted to film an intro for this video in explaining that it's a time lapse of me installing a mod chip, but I'm pretty sure the title explains that to you guys. So I really didn't have to do this, but it's, I'm sure it's okay. I hope it's okay. Um, I just wanted to point out that this was not filmed to be a time lapse. This was filmed to be like, like one of my other PS2 mod videos where like I wanted to show all of it. But since I have three videos basically showing that, I figured, you know what, let me take all this footage, throw it together, and just turn it into a time lapse. And I think it's at 10,000 uh, times speed. So it was, it was uh, two hours worth of footage cut down to like five minutes or something like that. And I, I want, the reason why I wanted to show a time lapse because I wanted, um, I don't, when, if you see my other three videos about the PS2, it's very, very like specific as to what I chose to show and there's so much that gets left out. So this is basically just everything, just go and just start to finish. So you guys can see how much actually really goes into it for those of you who haven't done it or thinking of trying it or, or something like that. And I kind of wanted to also talk about this style of modding and where it originated. It originated as soon as the, basically when the PS2 got hacked in the in the first place and they and they started making these mod chips for it all the way back in like 2002, 2003, 4, 5, 6. That's when that's when this style of modding originated. Uh, people like um, there's so many people out there who is doing it. Uh, Kranz, uh, NorCal mods. Um, Dav Barry, who actually has like the nicest work ever, and then probably the most well known for it, Jin. Like all of those people started doing this such a long time ago, and it was because there were so many people modding the PS2 back then. Every single PS2 was getting chipped. M one of the most, uh, you know, number one best selling console of all time, 155 million units sold. Such a good selling console, a lot of people were modding them back in the day when the, when the system came out, and uh, early into its uh, lifespan, even when the Slim came out, a lot of people were modding it. So it was about how do I get you to choose me as a modder? So a lot of the modders started doing it uh, in this style to be uh, as nice as humanly possible and to also take pride in what they do and also to like one up the other, the other modders, I guess, was, uh, was the, the origins of how it started. And then uh, Dav Barry started doing it on, on the Wii when people moved on, because a lot of the people that were doing the PS2 mods back then, they moved on to the Wii, they moved on to the Xbox 360, they, they ended up moving on when, when it kind of died out. Fun fact, uh, some countries, uh, like I know like uh, Saudi Arabia is a prime example. In Saudi Arabia, every single PlayStation 2 that you would buy was a modded PlayStation 2. Because in Saudi Arabia, they didn't allow you to actually buy like legitimate PlayStation 2 games. So they sold bootlegs in the stores. Like you would go to a store and you would buy a bootleg PS2 game. And you would buy a PS2 and that PS2 had already been opened and modded and it was sold modded. And that's how uh, PS2 gaming happened in, in Saudi Arabia. And there's, also, there's a bunch of other countries that uh, this was also the case. The Sumo Lite was um, the mod chip that was primarily used uh, in Saudi Arabia. I don't have one of those, but I want to get one of those. So, I don't know, I just really, I just wanted to show it, I just wanted to film a time lapse about, about these PS2 mods and I just wanted to do that. And I wanted you guys to see how much really, really goes into it because, oh, I, I did a live stream uh, of one a, a really long time ago. So I guess whoever saw that was able to see, but I don't know, I just wanted to show what goes into it because I, I take a lot of pride in it and I don't know, I think it's, it's something I would have wanted to watch because it's. I'm a lot better than watching two hours of me fumbling around with wire strippers and stuff like that. So I got actually, um, I have another project like this that's actually really, really interesting that is coming soon. It's, um, it's a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger and because it's so far, I've, I think I've been working on it for 30 hours because I have 30 hours worth of footage. So I'm going to time lapse that one. But this, this is a crazy one. Stay tuned for that. I'll end up posting it on like Instagram as soon as it's done or something like that. So follow me on there if you want to see what this 30 long hour project I got going. It's really, really cool, I think. Then again, I think all the stuff I do is cool. I don't know why. Or I guess, hey, I wouldn't do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you uh, for going back and checking out all my other videos. If you haven't seen my three PS2 mod videos, go check those out. And uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time.